Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a single color double spiral. Decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, give it a little pinch, and then spiral it up. As you'll notice, I use one hand to keep the center steady, and then I use my opposite hand to actually create the spiral. Once you have it all spiraled up, it's time to secure it. I prefer to use rubber bands, but you could also use kite string. You could even use sinew. It's just a matter of preference. I got these rubber bands off of Amazon, and I do have a link for them down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use to create tie-dye. So check that out. When securing my spirals, I try to have the rubber bands intersect in the center of the spiral. It doesn't always work out that way, but it is helpful when placing the die. I also tuck in all of the tails into the nearest rubber band, creating a nice tight spiral. Now it's time to create some type of an ice barrier. And I really do like these silicone cake molds that I got from Amazon. And there is a link for them down below in the description box. You could also use tin foil or cardboard, but I just really find these to be the easiest. And I can just throw them in the dishwasher and then wipe them down and they're ready to go for the next project. After I marked out my pattern using a washable marker, it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And this particular shirt is going into the playlist of Dharma Swatches. So for those of you that don't know, I'm doing every color that Dharma has available right now. And we're going to have that playlist that you can look at. So I think it's going to be really helpful. I know these aren't the most exciting tutorials to watch, but they are very necessary. So I really do appreciate you watching them, leaving a thumbs up, and then subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I want to take a few seconds to remind everybody that I do have my social media links down below in the description box. I would love to see what you guys are making, especially if you take one of my tutorials and try it out yourself. I would love it if you would find the post and in the comment section, leave me some pictures showing your version of it. Um, I'm sure they're going to turn out even greater than what I made. So don't forget to do that, you guys. For this particular project, I'm choosing to use my honeycomb ice. The reason for that is they stack really nice and you can put them in a nice tight formation. With the nugget ice that I normally use, I don't have quite as much control. And if you do end up getting these ice trays, which again, I have a link for them down below in the description box. When you pull them out of the freezer, it's nice to let them sit for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. They come out a lot easier that way. So you want to give your project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash, and you only really need to focus the soda ash where the dye is. We're not trying to dye the white part, so the white part doesn't need that extra little oomph of the soda ash. And then you just want to stack up your ice only where the dye is.
after the ice melted, I came back and checked it. There was plenty of dye on the other side. So now you just wanna let your project batch for 24 hours after the ice melts. It's been 24 hours since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out process. So I start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then I gradually increase the water up too hot and I rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here I take it to the washing machine and I do a plain hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Kirillon which is basically Synthropol because Synthropol has been discontinued and I get it from Dharma and there is a link below in the description box for where to buy it. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, which is going to bring softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And I also get that from Dharma. Then I throw it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see our results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our double spiral in a single color after it's been washed and dried. And I think it turned out really beautiful. Um, all of these yellow colors from Dharma are absolutely gorgeous. You know, yes, there is a little bit of orange where it appears orange, and that's just because that's where it's highly concentrated yellow. And then, you know, it fades out into lighter shades, you know, as it creeps into the white. So I think this is really beautiful. And then I also have right here the swatch of liquid dye. So that way you can compare what does liquid dye look like versus ice dye. And you know, daffodil is one of my favorite flowers in this world, and I also really do enjoy this color. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up on this tutorial, and then click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.